Oh gosh. Oh, he got one. Oh my gosh, I was checking my phone. Oh my gosh. What do we have here? Even bigger than the last one. What is going on, gang? Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Today we are out with Ryan Riggs behind the camera. We're gonna do some pond hopping with the latest and greatest, y'all. We have got the Guggen Squad exclusive tackle bundles that just went live at GuggenSquad.com only. Code Weston saves you 10%. You can save a lot with that code if you are looking into these bad boys. Let's show you what's inside. Not only the tumbler bundle, but we also have the summer bundle and we have the top water bundle. There's a few more offerings though online. You can see there's one for dirty water. Think more black and blue colors. There's one for crystal clear water, a little bit more finesse designs as well as natural colors. We're gonna cover these three in depth and then we're gonna do some fishing later with Ryan and really show them off. We're just gonna key in and find out what these fish wanna hit today. It should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and break open, I think the top water bundle first. Since it is summertime, we're gonna be fishing until sunset this evening. So you're gonna see us break out some of these top waters. We have a Hummer inside of this bundle right here, along with some Guggen toads. You guys haven't seen us throw the soft plastic topwater frogs by these guys in a while. So this is something to look out for. And we have the hound. You get a hound in this box. I'm just gonna cover this briefly. We're gonna talk about tips, tricks, and techniques as we fish them. So we've also got two frogs in here. We've got a poppin' and just your standard walking filthy frog, y'all. But there's more. We have a blooper in this bad boy too, and that is gonna cover the top water bundle. These two smaller boxes are gonna go from about 38 to 53 bucks. You can check them out at GuggenSquad.com once again. And then the larger box, we're gonna break that out in just a minute. We'll tell you its price here momentarily. Next up is the summer bundle. So in here, you've got some stuff that you can fish midday when the sun is at its peak. It's at the water temps are at their highest and the fish are getting finicky, lethargic. You've got some dragon drops. But also, you got a top water in here too. You've got a Hummer. So you're getting top water across the board. You pick which box is right for you. And we're gonna talk about throwing the Hummer later today. You've got some smaller Mondo worms. These are the junior size. I like the fact that it's watermelon red flake, works in just about any clarity. And then you've got some rattling chunks. So another finessier sized bait. Throw these out on a net rig, catch fish, even when they're finicky during the summertime. Then you've got some big slim shake worms in this one. Shaky heads, lunker logs, y'all, and more of a natural color. This is that green pumpkin purple that's been doing so well for us with the cracking crawls and bandito bugs. And then you also have a poppin' filthy frog. It wouldn't be a summer bundle without it. And a deep diving crank. And I mean, this guy goes 15 to 20 feet. So for you boat anglers, uh, you gotta have a deep diving crank for the summertime. Kayak anglers as well, you're definitely gonna want that. Let's break out the last box and then we're gonna get to fishing. All right, y'all, now for the creme de la creme. This guy goes for 99 bucks. You can save 10 with code Weston on GuggenSquad.com. This is the Tumblr bundle. It's gonna come with an exclusive hat as well as a 28 ounce tumbler for you guys. So think about the coffees in the morning. Gotta get your caffeine before you go bassing. This is what we got for you. 28 ounce tumbler and and here we have some Slim Shakes. These are all in best-selling colors, by the way, when you're talking about this bundle. So you don't have to worry about just getting crap thrown into these boxes because they wanted to get the stuff off the shelves and liquidate. These are the top colors. So we've got some Slim Shake worms in the big box, a blooper, top water. We've got some rattling chunks and a color I've never thrown, actually. This is really cool, peanut butter and jelly. The purples have been crushing it lately. We've got some rattling neds. We've got some bandito bugs. This is probably my current favorite color, sprayed lettuce. Devin and I have been catching giants with the sprayed lettuce lately, as well as some darts. I think you're gonna see us throw these in some water today, some clearer water, I should say. Uh, these things, so good for that summer bite. It's just that soft plastic jerk bait. Sits there, they cannot resist. We're gonna show you how to fish them if we get an opportunity to at the right pond this evening. Then we've got a zinger. Not much more of a gold standard than a nice spinnerbait. A lot of folks, they get started fishing and they just throw spinnerbaits left and right. They catch big fish. You've got a spinnerbait in this box. There's a lot more though. We've got some smaller lunker logs. Perfect for the summertime bite. You got some Mondo worms. These ones are full size right here. A color with some nice flash. That's the nightclub color. And then you've got another one of our favorites. We've been catching so many big bass on these lately. This is the 4.8 inch Saucy Swimmer. Wow, sexy shimmer is the color y'all. That is gonna round out the larger tumbler bundle. We're gonna go ahead and get rigged up. We brought out a couple different rods. So we've got a Daiwa Zillion SVTW rigged up on just a go-to rod that's gonna be capable of throwing just about everything in this box, except for some of those top waters. We do have a braid combo set up, uh, which is gonna be more effective for a lot of those techniques. We'll talk about it more as the day goes on. Let's get to fishing. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna be mixing and matching, but I think I'm gonna grab a, uh, I might grab a drop shot to start just because it is that midday summer grind. So I'm going for the summer bundle right here. 
and I'm gonna hunt down those boom dragon drops. And I've got my BFS Corrado right here, which is essentially like throwing a, a spinning combo almost. It's like just the bait caster way of doing it. It's got a very small spool. It's got 10 pound fluorocarbon and it's made for throwing finesse baits. So I'm gonna rig up a drop shot on this bad boy right here. We're gonna kick things off. So whenever I tie my drop shots, I usually just do a Palomar knot. So I, I already tied the Palomar knot, but then I make sure I go back through the eyelet of the hook facing down away from it. So what happens is now, whenever that weight is on the bottom, once you put that line back through the eyelet, it's always gonna pull that hook into the upright position. So your bait is gonna be sitting on there and it's gonna be perfect for hooking the top lip, which is what you want. So this is in position. Grab me a little drop shot weight out of the terminal. We're gonna rig up our drop shot. We're just barely gonna nose hook this dragon drop. This is in the green pumpkin pearl color. I have caught a lot of fish on this color with this specific bait in the past. So I'm happy this is the one that is included in the box. Let's break out the first bait out of the summer bundle. First cast with the dragon drop. Working it nice and slow. I'm just gonna be barely bumping this thing. It's elevated off the surface, so it's just gonna be kind of fluttering around. You're just waiting for a bass to cruise by and smoke it. Got him, got a fish, fish on. Oh, tiny bass. There we go, y'all. That's what's fun about these BFS bait casters right there. Getting the fish on the drop shot. Nice. First fish out of the summer bundle. There we go, we're having fun. They can't always be giants, but this is what's fun about summertime fishing is breaking out the finesse baits and catching them in the heat of the day when most folks would just be giving up. Check us out. Let's see if we can get some bigger fish. We are over here in this urban environment, so there's not always the opportunity to catch the biggest fish, but I'm pretty sure there's some three to five pounders in these ponds. Oop, got a hit, there's a fish. There's a fish, that's number two. Nothing but little guys so far, but we are starting off with the drop shot, just trying to get some numbers. If you're trying to catch some bass, y'all, the summer bundle is definitely gonna work for you. Let me tell you what. Back in there, little buddy. I'm just gonna finish circling this pond real quick and then we're gonna tie on something a little bit bigger, less finesse, and see if we can get a bigger fish to bite. Oh, do we? Oh, we got a fish. Oh my gosh. All right, fish number three, y'all, open water. I think we've done enough damage with the drop shot. We're gonna put this thing up and go for some bigger fish. See you, bud. We made a move. I went ahead and rigged up another item out of that summer bundle since it seems to be on a roll. Check us out, man. Green pumpkin purple lunker log. This is just weightless Texas rigged on that go-to setup with the Daiwa. And I'm still gonna carry around the BFS with the drop shot just because I think there are some bigger fish here that will even hit that drop shot worm. It's just a matter of the water you're fishing sometimes. So with that being said, we're at the second spot. Let's go ahead and make our first cast. I'll get a cast here left. Got him. Oh, wow. Well, Ryan just caught one in seconds at this place. He's throwing the darts out of the larger tumbler bundle. Yeah, sometimes you can get two or three out of there. Holy cow, dude. Is that a bluegill? It's like a sunfish. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come over here and see about the frog real quick. I'll try and walk this frog along the grass here. Oh, just got a little hit, but it was like a bluegill. Little fish keep hitting this frog. Ryan's on. Okay, I think he's still throwing the darts, but he might have switched it up. I'm just trying to hit this grass edge with that frog still. All right, let's break these out. What do we got here? Blue baby. And you hear this rattle? Nice little rattle. That'll bring those fish in from a little bit further away than that dragon drop. If they hear that vibration down there low, I might be able to entice them. Not to mention the fact that this is a completely different style of bait. Definitely going with more of a crawl on this one. We want that hook to come out right about here on the bait. We just kind of lined it up with this specific hook. So let's go ahead. And now we got that rattling chunk on little Ned mushroom jig head. So let's throw it out. Oh, got one. Got one. There. Oh, no. Right off the bat on the rattling chunk, but he came off the hook. All right. Well, I'm liking that. At least we see they're out here. You see, I didn't smash the hook set with this lighter gear. Who knows what type of fish was on there. If it was a big one, could have easily broken you off. So I'm just leaning into it since it is these smaller gauge hooks. Should penetrate a lot easier and you shouldn't miss many hook sets and you should get those fish to the bank. It was not the case just then though. There we go, got one. Nice, got one on the rattling chunk. Here we go, y'all. Flip them on up here. Woo that did not take too long. That was just a little short stroll down the bank from where Ryan and I were both casting a moment ago and both had hits. And we secured the first one. This is out of the summer bundle right there, man. Blue baby rattling chunks. Heck yes. I'm definitely liking the summer bundle, which is uh, kind of right in the middle on the pricing. Ryan is going through those darts, man. He is throwing the flukes tonight and getting numbers. Holy smokes. That's out of the big old tumbler bundle yet again. He's cranking them. I don't even know how many fish he's at now, but he's caught a lot 
as I'm over here with the rattling chunk just messing around. One thing about this rattling chunk too, I'm throwing it on that Ned Rig with the exposed hook. You might not be able to do that in all ponds or lakes, right? I mean, but the thing is right here, we got a hard bottom. It's just sandy, there's some rock. And so this works pretty well. And yet it is a little bit more finessey, so you can get more hits. We haven't got a whole lot of big fish yet today, so I assume and they're waiting until sunset and they're gonna hit some of those top waters. But for the time being, we're breaking out the uh, smaller presentations. He's throwing the fluke. I actually caught a previous PB on the fluke though. It was like six and three quarter pounds. So that uh, it's not to say that the dart won't catch a big one or the rattling chunk will not catch a big one or anything else in the box for that matter, like the dragon drops. But uh, I do believe once we break out those top waters here as it closes in on sunset, which is an hour and a half away, that we could start really getting some sizable fish out of these boxes. And this is just the first time breaking them out. So I'm thrilled. I think we're like, like, you know, probably 10 fish total between the two of us. So it's not a bad day. And I either have, I don't, I don't know if I've got a fish or if this is, nope, it's a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Oh my gosh. I just had a good one, man. Pull and drag and he came off. Wow. So there we go. Uh, not cool that could have been a decent fish right there he started to realize he was hooked and then he started running and uh, again i just kind of leaned into it that's what you do with these small small hooks oftentimes because um that beefy hook set just isn't necessary and if that fish was pulling away right about the time i did it almost guaranteed to snap your line it's lighter tactics when you're throwing the lighter gear i love it when people are like oh the hook sets are lame and i'm like well you're not really setting the hook with a twitch rod and a bfs reel throwing 10 pound line but this is uh, the world we live in in the comments section. <laughs> I mean, look at that little hook. That thing is going to get that bass skin hooked, and as soon as they whip with it, you just lean in, and you should have them. So I've been getting a little unlucky, but I think we're going to try and turn that around here on the next bite and bring it to the bank. Dang, that would have been the best one of the night, hands down. got one switch it up to the longer log all right there we go I, he's going out deep with it too this one could be all right nice nice there we go got us a solid one finally green pumpkin purple seals the deal on a nice length one that's a nice two pounder right there i felt that tick as soon as it hit the water and i was just making sure i was correct as to having a bite and not feeling anything else like a tree set the hook and kaboom decent little urban fishy Sick. All right, we got to try and get another one like that. Lunker log might be the deal now. We've now caught fish on three different baits out of the box on this uh, beautiful Texas summer afternoon. Now would be a good time if you're new to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy bass fishing content, feel free to share the videos if you think somebody would be interested in these boxes as well. Definitely a handful of tips thrown in here for y'all. Uh, I think just switching it up to that lunker log, maybe the purple color, just a different presentation thrown in the same area. Uh, could have been what done it, but at the same time, I feel like there are going to be fish migrating kind of around this point and just feeding at different times of the day. And so I was thinking maybe I'll just sit still for a little while, do something different. I normally just roam the banks and chase the bass, but right now I'm kind of letting them roam through as they get hungry and assuming they're going to come feed up on this point. So I've just been standing making the same cast for about 20 minutes and it seemed to have worked on that one. Lunker log. First one of the day. First one on the Daiwa. Okay, there we go. I will tell you, it's a little tricky fishing a weightless bait with the wind blowing right at you. It's hard to detect the bites. The wind kind of puts a little slack in your line, and that's just enough to wonder sometimes if you've got a fish running with your bait or if it is just your imagination. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh, we got one. Oh my gosh, I was checking my phone. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? Even bigger than the last, can you believe that? Oh my gosh, oh boy. That's why you fish weightless. You just let them come to you. <laughs> Ryan's walking this whole bank and I'm just catching him right here at the same spot. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Green pumpkin purple, y'all, look. I would have not had confidence in purple baits when I first started fishing. I don't know why, it's just purple. It seemed like, I don't know, something foreign. But you build confidence in whatever you see people fishing. Oftentimes for me, it was other YouTubers I was watching. And if they use something like watermelon red flake or green pumpkin, that's what I wanted to buy. So check it out, man. That is why I love being able to now showcase this stuff on video for you guys. Because now if you get this in your box, you can feel confident. It's going to catch fish, but not just fish. Some of the biggest ones of the day. So toss out those green pumpkin purple lunker logs, y'all. 
definitely do that. Shoo! He's taking off. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, Ryan got another one. I see him way down there at the end. All right, he's picking them off the bank. <laughs> if you guys would like to see his take on all these boxes, by the way, it's going to be up on his channel, Ryan Rigged. Link down in the description. Check out the homies, man. You got to see the local DFW peeps. Way in the back 40 over there. Got another one. There we go. What do we got here? All right, nice. Another good one, y'all. They're just roaming through. This is perfect. Oh my goodness. Could this be the biggest one? <laughs> you see? Oh yes. Nice. It might be, y'all. That might be. <laughs> the lunker log is just smashing them. All right. We kind of downsized it a few times. I think. I think it's had enough. Take it all day, every day, y'all. I just grabbed another green pumpkin purple, but I'm thinking maybe we should beef it up until sunset when we throw the top water. Let's rig this thing up real quick and see if they like watermelon red flake out here tonight. Otherwise, we're going to go right back to the lunker log. Let's throw this out here and see if we get some hits from some different bass that have roamed through and maybe maybe they passed on the lunker log, but they would try this right here. By the way, this is the 4 odd Guggen Squad hammer hook. It fits most of those Guggen Squad plastics I like to throw on a regular basis, or that would come in these box. So 4 aughts are a great size if you're talking about kind of all around, but if you do want to get critical with it and match them up to your plastics, you might grab some 2 aughts for those junior size baits. You might grab some 3 aughts, uh, 5 aughts for the big worms, almost something like this. You might put on like a 5 aught shaky head hook. Anyways, just options, but the 4 aughts seems to work great as kind of that all-purpose hook so you can throw all the baits in these boxes here. So I'm thinking of tying on a topwater. Which one? I don't know, but we're going to get started on that here sooner than I thought, I believe. It is uh, 7.30, so we still have like an hour before sunset. Here's the topwater box itself, so we definitely could just throw something out of here. Look at that. We got a popper. That actually sounds fun. We got the blooper. Hmm, the hummer. That would be good for the chop. Oh, we have the toads also. We've also got the hound. I don't throw the hound a whole lot. Golly, they all sound so much fun. I'm just going to look at these and not tie one on. What should I do? I was thinking the buzz bait at first just to cover ground but i have been throwing the buzz bait a little bit lately on the channel so you could always watch one of the previous videos you know what at this moment i'm thinking a nice pause is going to be what they want just because they've been so slow today so i'll be able to walk this if i choose or i can just slow steady pop it either or top water is just one of the most fun ways to catch uh, fish in general and you know you can only do it or generally speaking they're only going to hit top water when you got those warmer water temperatures kind of like spring summer fall like you can't do it in those colder months and for some of us, like uh, in northern states, I'm down here in Texas, but for some of y'all, I should say, you don't get a whole lot of opportunity to fish top water throughout the year even. Sunrises and sunsets are, you generally speaking, the best time to throw them, or maybe like a prefrontal action before a storm comes in, overcast days a lot of times. It just depends. It varies. There's a lot of variables when it comes to throwing top water, but I'm going to Palomar knot this guy up right here on some braid and just simply see if we can get some hits on this. Now, I think my only disadvantage is that uh, I got three rods on me, and my backpack is totally full, so I can't really put them in the backpack, so I'm not going to be able to walk the bank as quick as I'd like. Completely fine. Went around quite a ways with the blooper, didn't get any hits, so I'm thinking something different. Really want to catch them on top water too, so if they're not going to hit here, we might just make one more move to another location. All right, y'all, let's see if we can't end on a high note. Last pond with Ryan Ridge. We got the top waters on deck. He's throwing the, he's got the dart tied on, but he might switch over. I think this is a top water type of spot. I see the moon, the sun is going down. We got the Subi gang in the house too. Shout out to the homies that are over here fishing. Let's go ahead and see if we can secure one on top water to close this thing out for y'all. It is looking a little murky. This might not be doable either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bass right here chased it up, dude. Oh, it's a gar. There's a gar right here on the corner. He can, ah! <laughs> wow. 
Dude, big guard just hit it. I was gonna say, I saw that weight coming up. Well, y'all, we closed it out. Couldn't catch nothing on the old Humvee, but what did happen is the guard chased it, dude. It was like a big old wake, too. <laughs> he came back for it. Uh, hit it at the bank, but couldn't secure the bag on the old gar. So that's all right. But you know the summer bundle is catching fish, man. This is the one that I got the most fish on out of the box today. You actually were getting them out of the big boy box. Big boy box. Catching them out of the tumbler bundle, which you guys know comes with not only the tumbler, but the exclusive hat. So if you guys are interested in some new tackle, uh, go ahead and check those out. GookinSquad.com. Code Weston will save you big and we'll catch y'all on the next episode hopefully with ryan rigged we can get out some more um i don't know if he's gonna want to fish with me anymore after tonight but that's to be determined see y'all no.